Uh, um, so first of all, congratulations for working on this kind of story. I, I really admire you for doing that. Um, all, you know, um, se second of all, um, no, I don't like to make direct comparisons with the gulag because we live in a different kind of system and it can be a mistake to think about, um, to, you know, to continue to try to compare to the past. You can, you can misinterpret the present if you focus too much on the past. Um, but yes, I think the, um, I think focusing on um, telling the truth about how prisons work and you know, doing what you can to get to sources, trying to find people in the administration, trying to find relatives of victims, um, trying to do what you can, first of all, to tell the story is um, incredibly important and brave. Um, a lot of the, you know, when I did my research on the Gulag, some of what I was using was material produced by people at the time, which was never published. So people's diaries, people's memoirs, um, which eventually became valuable and important later on. So I think anything you can do to document what's happening is important. But your second task as a journalist is not just to find the material, but to figure out how to transmit it to people who don't want to hear about it or don't want to know about it. And this is the hardest thing now in, in journalism. Um, first of all, the documentation. Second of all, how do you reach people who reject this kind of information, who don't want to hear it, who don't believe it? How do you establish some kind of trust between yourself and your audience? Um, I don't have any formula for that or any precise answer. Um, you know, it may be that you need to, you know, try and use the try and use your audience's language. Um, try and, you know, or, or try to appeal to something that you and they have in common. Um, you know, you we, we all live in the same country. We all live in Russia. We want it to be a better place. How do we make it better? Uh, something, you know, you. Um, trying to find a way to tell a story that people find uncomfortable or that they dislike is really, um, is difficult. Um, and um, might require, it may be now that we have to think more about who's listening to us, how do we reach them, what are the photographs, what are the pictures, what are the stories, you know, what are the ways that really reach people.